Hey, welcome back to Sports Banner. I'm today's host, Luca. Yes, it's just me, no Calvin, no Bryce. I'm all by myself, and today we are given predictions for the biggest pro wrestling event in the United States, WrestleMania. This is the 37th edition of the old classic. I don't even know if that's a nickname for WrestleMania. I just gave it that. But yeah, um, we're going to predict both nights in this video. Um, so yeah, let's just start with night one. I have no idea what the actual or <clears throat> sorry, I don't know what the actual order is for um the matches, but I'm just gonna read it off in this this way. Um, so starting at night one, starting with a tag team turmo ter turmoil match, uh, the winners receive a women's tag team championship match on night two. Uh, the competitors are Lana and Naomi versus Dana Brooke and Mandy Rose versus the Riot Squad versus Natalia and Tamina versus Billy Kay and Carmella. I really do not know who's going to win this. Um, Lan Lana and Naomi seem interesting. Same with Billy Kane and Carmella. But I'm going to give it to the one that's an actual tag team. And I'm going to go with the Riot Squad. Um, moving on, a match I'm excited for. Uh, a normal singles match between Cesaro and Seth Rollins. Um, this is going to be very good. And this is going to be a huge win for Cesaro. I love Seth. I would like Seth to win. That would be cool. But Cesaro deserves this one. He needs a WrestleMania win. So I'm going to go with Cesaro. Uh, next is a tag team match between Bad Bunny and Damian Priest versus The Miz and John Morrison. Miz and John Morrison ain't going to win. It's going to be Bad Bunny and Priest. I like Priest. Priest is a good wrestler. Um, but they're going to let the... the um a musician you know they're big uh like outsider win and that's bad bunny um next is another tag team match for the wwe raw tag team championship and it's the title holders the new day versus aj styles and omos um aj styles and omos are gonna win if they win this i, I believe styles becomes a grand slam championship champion or something uh so i think they'll win Omos, I want to see him wrestle. Man is massive. He makes Triple H smile. So I hope they win. Um, if no one gets that reference, basically Triple H was saying how much he likes him. Yeah. Next is a steel cage match between Braun Strowman and Shane McMahon. Uh, expect Shane McMahon to do something crazy, but I'm going to give the slight edge to Braun Strowman. Uh, Braun, I'm not the biggest fan of him, but he deserves a WrestleMania win, to be fair. So... Braun Strowman, yeah. Um, moving on to a singles match for the SmackDown Women's Championship, we have the title holder Sasha Banks versus the Wrestle, uh, not WrestleMania, the Royal Rumble winner Bianca Belair. Um, so how I look at the Royal Rumble winners is usually both of them won't win, and at WrestleMania 35, both Royal Rumble winners won. Uh, 36. I can't quite remember what happened. So I, I think Bianca Belair or Edge will lose. Now, which one will it be? <sighs> I don't know. Um, it's it's hard. I think, I think Bianca probably deserves to win, but it's Sasha Banks. So I'm going to go Sasha Banks, the boss, retains the SmackDown Women's Championship. But I do see Bianca Belair either winning it here or winning it at the next pay-per-view. But I, I, I'm just going to say Sasha retains. Um, moving on to what's probably going to be the main event, a singles match for the WWE Championship, the holder Bobby Lashley going against Drew McIntyre. I would – this is hard because Lashley hasn't had a long title run, and he's actually not that bad as a champion. But – I think they'll have Drew McIntyre win it in front of a crowd since there are there is going to be a live crowd um, at the arena. I think it's at the the Buccaneer Stadium, not really an arena. Um, so yeah, Drew McIntyre for the win. But I I would be fi I'm fine with either one that wins. But Drew McIntyre. Now moving on to night two. Um, first match, let's go with um, Nia Jax and Shayna Baszler versus uh, the Tag Team Turmoil winners. Uh, this is for the Women's Tag Team Championship. And I think Nia Jax and Shayna Baszler finally lose uh, the, the belts. I don't know who they lose it to. I'm, I'm assuming the Riot Squad, but I, I think they drop the belts on night two. Um, moving on to... 
let's do the Nigerian drum fight for the WWE Intercontinental Championship. The uh, the champion Big E going against Apollo Cruz. Um, I think this is Apollo Cruz's big WrestleMania moment as well, and he gets the dub over Big E. I would actually much rather have Big E um, keep the title, but I think Apollo Cruz gets a big win here. Next, let's go with um, a singles match for the WWE United States Championship: <coughs> Matt Riddle versus Sheamus. Matt Riddle, Riddle, whatever you want to call him. He's the title holder. Sheamus is coming in. Here's the um, competitor, I guess. <clears throat> and since it is a lesser championship in WWE, they'll let it go between competitors very quickly. I see Riddle drop in here and Sheamus picks up the belt. I I'm expecting a lot of title changes at Mania, pretty much. But um, <clears throat> I wouldn't be surprised if Riddle retains. I, I will say this should be a very good match. Moving on to um, a singles match, The Fiend versus Randy Orton. I'm not a huge fan of this feud. Um, I'm really disappointed that Randy Orton versus Alexa Bliss wasn't a legit <laughs> uh, <laughs> intergender match. I wish it was. I got something stuck in my throat. Pause. <clears throat> um, Randy Orton lit The Fiend, fiend on fire. I, I want Randy to in win. I don't want to vote against Randy, but, I mean, The Fiend's going to get the win in front of a live audience, so... Fiend's going to win, but I want Randy to. Um, moving on to the Raw Women's Championship um, match. Asuka is the Raw Women's Champion, and she's going against Rhea Ripley. Um, Dylan, I know you're probably going to watch this video. Uh, Dylan's my friend, by the way. And he'll probably be like, ha ha, Rhea Ripley. Uh. I'm saying Rhea Ripley's going to win. I think she gets the belt off Asuka, and this should be an extremely good match. Um... The funny thing is, is like, not all the belts are going to get taken off on night two. So if I had to go back on any of my predictions, it'd probably be Big E, Apollo Crews. But I'm just saying Rhea Ripley beats Asuka. Um, next is a singles match. Kevin Owens versus Sami Zayn with Logan Paul. <clears throat> I don't know. This one's hard. I think Kevin Owens is going to do something crazy, by the way. Predicting Kevin Owens is going to do something crazy. Kevin Owens is low-key turned into the new Jeff Hardy, if anything. Um, I'm going to say Sami Zayn gets the dub. It's going to be a surprise. He gets the win, and hopefully this ends his stupid conspiracy theory gimmick. It's funny sometimes, but with most gimmicks for me, I get sick of it eventually, like um, The Fiend. Get him back to normal Barry Wyatt. I'm sort of over The Fiend. Um... Anyways, going to what should be the main event for night two, triple threat match for the WWE Universal Championship, um, the champion Roman Reigns versus the rated R superstar Edge <laughs> versus uh, Daniel Bryan. Um, I Edge has to win. Edge is coming out of retirement. I know he came out of retirement last year, but this is... In front of a live audience, he won the Rumble. Let him have one more championship run before he eventually retires. The same can be said about Daniel Bryan. He doesn't have a lot of matches left in him. I mean, I think he has more than Edge, but he's still he's not a spring chick, chicken or anything like that. So I think I think all three of the guys in here have a good chance of winning, and that's what makes this match so attractive. Roman Reigns is like a beast right now. He's the head of the table. No one's stopping him. Edge won the Royal Rumble, and it's Edge. Daniel Bryan, well, he's done the same thing back at WrestleMania 30, and it's Daniel Bryan. He pulls off amazing things. So it could go to any of these. I think it just goes down to the guy you prefer. And out of these three, I prefer Edge. I love Daniel Bryan. I think Roman Reigns is a very good wrestler, and I think over his career, he's gotten too much hate. But I'm going Edge. I love Edge. I, I have to. Um... Now, the big thing I want to say before the video ends, that was all the predictions. I am pretty. I already disagree with some of them, but these are my predictions. I think a big return will happen, and it should happen. But who's it going to be? I think the obvious answer is Brock Lesnar. I think Brock probably comes out after... I don't know which match he comes out after. Is it the Drew Lashley one, or is it the Roman Reigns Edge Daniel Bryan one? I think... I think it's Lashley Drew McIntyre because he can hang with those guys. If Daniel Bryan wins on, on Sunday night and Brock Lesnar comes out, 
we know who's going to win that match, um, sadly. So I think there's more of a chance of him coming out tonight than uh, Sunday night. But I think Brock Lesnar, Lesnar will be a big return, but there may not be a big return that happens. Who knows? Um, yeah, these are just my predictions. Um, thank you for watching the vid. Um, if you liked it, drop a like, so subscribe to the channel, leave a comment below, give me some of y'all's predictions, and uh, yeah, thanks for watching.